Hello and welcome to iSights, powered by Gen Y, Generation Wireless. My name is Grant and I'm going to be taking you guys through a tour of our five-step app creation tool. iSights is designed so you can build and customize your own smartphone application in minutes. First and foremost, you need to register an account with iSights.us by clicking the Build Your App Now button on the home screen. Register your email address, phone number, and a password, and log in with iSites.us. After registering, you will open to the iSites dashboard. The iSites dashboard allows you to create a new application, manage existing projects that you're already working on, or examine analytics under the Analytics tab. To create a new app project, click the Create an App button in the upper left-hand corner. Here you will title your application, describe it, and add tag words or keywords for your app to be found in the iSites.us directory. After logging in, your first step is in the Content tab to provide RSS feeds or really simple syndicated content. You can gain one of these feed addresses directly from your personal website by looking for the orange RSS icon. You can also get feeds from a service by clicking one of these small icons below. You will be prompted to enter your username that you have with that service and click Get Feeds. Once you have added a feed, it will pop up in the Existing Feeds box. If you're feeling inspired, go to our Quick Post feature to add a new post, where you can title, add new images, immediately write an article, link to an external media file, as well as categorize your article, and save it to your app immediately. Please note that if you intend on publishing to the iPhone platform, the media link must link to a file in a QuickTime format. Next, click on the Twitter and Buzz tab and integrate your Twitter account by simply entering your username and saving. Also, scroll down and add keywords for the Buzz feature, which will scan all tweets that mention those specific words and present it to you in an organized list. Now you can move on to the Design tab, where you will decide your header background color, your text header title color, and also your status bar and status bar title colors. You can also choose to give that header background an image by generating a 320 by 44 pixel PNG formatted image. And this is a great way to brand your application. Now click on the Category tab to create custom categories so your app is easy to navigate for your users. Categories organize your content, so why not create them according to popular trends like holidays or movies? You can set a new category as your default by clicking the gray button on the left hand side. That way when you add any new content it is automatically organized into that specific category. Now flex those creative muscles and finalize your app title and write a vivid description up to 4,000 words. You can check the length of your description by clicking on our word counter link below. Categorize your app for the iPhone App Store as well as the Android Market. Provide keywords so users can navigate through app stores to find your app. A support URL and support email address to make sure your app is running as efficiently as possible. And finally, add an app icon, essential for the Apple App Store, a store banner, also for the Apple App Store, and a splash image. The splash screen image is a 480 by 320 pixel graphic in a PNG format. It is the first image your users will see when they launch your application. Finally, you can decide how to publish your app. You can choose to distribute to the Android market, the iPhone App Store, or choose to save money by publishing to both with the multi-platform package. Once your app has been published, you can own your own ad space and start profiting from your app by registering and activating an account with AdMob.com. Now you can share your application with friends and family and tweet about it on Twitter. Thank you for joining us at iSites.us 
And remember, you can always edit your current application on the iSites dashboard, revise on the fly, and we'll update it for you. And from all of us here at Generation Wireless, we'd like to say congratulations on distributing yourself on the smartphone.